Hello all, welcome back to my channel. Today in this session, we are going to take up a question from Banker Safety Algorithm. So it is a very important algorithm. We've already discussed the basics related to it in our previous videos. And this comes when we need to check. This is basically a deadlock avoidance strategy, I would say. And we check the safe sequence. We check if by performing a particular allocation of resources our system will get into a safe state or it will get into a deadlock so we check priorly that whether by performing a certain allocation our system is in safe state or it will lead to a deadlock and therefore we avoid the deadlock in advance so we have already uh, discussed about the necessary uh, steps involved necessary procedure and you can check that on this video that is shown above over here uh, about the details you can check this video and now in this session today we are going to discuss about the gate 2018 question which was specifically focused on this So let's quickly look into the question. Let's see what is given and what needs to be found. So over here we have that in a system there are three types of resources E, F and G. Four processes P0, P1, P2 and P3 execute concurrently. At the outset the processes have declared the maximum resource requirements which is over here projected in this max matrix and the allocations which are currently made are given in this allocation matrix now apart from this they say that consider a state of system with the allocation matrix as shown below okay in which three instances of e and three instances of f are only resources available now when you get such kind of question uh, generally one point of confusion is that what is the difference between the allocation or and the available basically uh, one point of confusion is that whether the resources which are there in the available whether this allocation has been done while considering them them as i mean whether considering uh, by, uh, whether taking them in consideration or these available resources are the extra ones so a point of clarification over here is that allocation is the one that has already been done and the available resources are the ones which are the extra resources or which you have currently as the free resources which you can do which are for the next allocation basically so this allocation is some extra resources we can write over here that available available is apart from allocation so this is extra portion okay once we have this then the question says from the perspective of deadlock avoidance which one of the following is true the system is in safe state the system is not in a safe state but would be safe if one more instance of e were available and so on so such type of options are given so basically the first step in such kind of question is to find out from the given information that whether there is a safe state or not right once we have that information once we get into it and we get to know that whether this is a safe state whether it is able to reach a safe state then we can just check from the given options so uh how to solve such kind of question we have the max matrix we have the allocation matrix we have the available resources given the next thing that we need to find is the need matrix so over here this is what i've drawn so i've just listed i've written the max and allocated as is then i have computed the need matrix now need is what need is very simple need is just max minus allocated 
and you can also see this available portion written over here so this is just directly as they said over here that there are three instances of e and three instances of f which are available to us so therefore i have written three under e three under f and zero under g so these are the extra available resources with me now i'm going to compute the need which is max minus allocated so as you can see over here uh, e has been there are four resources of e required by p naught which is the max need which is maximum which it requires and out of that one has been allotted to it so therefore it requires only four minus one which is three so in this manner three minus zero which is three and one minus one one which is zero over here so in this manner you can compute this need matrix now once you are done with this the task left is to find out a safe state and that is done by what you need to allocate basically you need to schedule these processes in a manner that you are able to schedule all the processes and there is no deadlock so let's see how we do that first of all just see what is available to you and which is the process which you can serve okay so if i see what is available to me over here I have 330 available to me and the process which I can serve over here is what since G is 0 so I can either serve P2 right because its need is 030 or I can serve P0 so therefore there are two possibilities over here so two orders are possible two safe orders are possible you can say so I start with P0 but you can also write with p2 as the first one so i'll start with p0 now i once i serve p0 what will be the status of the available resources that you need to think so uh, once i'm done with p0 so how do i complete this p0 i'll allocate all these three three instances to p0 i'll give these instances to p0 it will complete its processing so it will free all the processes that it had so in addition to these it will also free this part right so basically the max need which is 431 so therefore p naught will become uh, sorry the available matrix will become what after p naught completes after p naught completes available will become 431 so i'm directly writing but i could also write yeah i could also write efg over here efg and after uh, efg will become what it will become yeah four three one so you can either sum this with this and you'll get four three one or you can directly write this four three one okay so now i have this available four three one again now this is done this is already done you can cross this out and now you need to check with uh, among p1 p2 and p3 now you cannot serve p1 as it because it requires two resources of g and you have only one similarly you cannot serve p3 because it requires four resources of f and you have only three instances of f available with you so that means you can only serve p2 so the only left possibility is p2 so you can also write the sequence over here so then what i'll do i'll give the necessary needed resources to p1 sorry to p2 since we just said that only p2 is the one which can be served right now so once we give all the resources to it once it completes right so it will free all the maximum required resources so it will free this part so then what i'll do i'll sum this with 133 So I'll be having now five, six, five, six, and four. Right? So I'll be having five, six, four resources. Now I can serve either P1 or P3. There is no problem in serving any of them. So I'll just write it in the same sequence order P1, P3. But another possibility would be P0, P2, 
P2, P3, P1. Another possibility would be P2, P0 and you can check for the rest. So, clearly we have an answer that yes, safe state is, safe state is possible. So, why I did not check after allotting to one of the processes like P1 and then why did I didn't check for P3 because obviously after I serve P1, I am going to get these resources plus P1's these maximum needed resources. So, this instances, these instances are going to increase. So, definitely there is not going to be any problem while serving P3. So, that is why I can just stop over here and I can say yes, a safe state is available. So, when we check from the options, it is very much clear that it is A part, the option is with us, that the system is in safe state. So, A part is the answer. So, that's all for this particular session. Uh, I'm sure all of you are practicing uh, very keenly for GATE, which is uh, to be held in Feb 2021. So, all the very best for your exam and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you. Hope you liked this video. In case you did, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to support the channel. Also, if you're the one who has not subscribed to my channel but would like to see more of such videos, please press the subscribe icon and also click this bell icon to get notified with my latest videos. Share as much as you can to spread the knowledge to the world. I'll be back with more of such videos. Till then, stay tuned, stay healthy, keep learning. Thank you.